Hey guys, we're going to discuss a very important topic right here, right now, and it's cutting your meat against the grain. Oh yeah, now check this out. We got a tri-tip right here. I just made a video and there was actually something about tri-tip that I discovered. I just unlocked the secrets to the tri-tip. Yes, I did. I did that yesterday. I was mentioning it in my video, but I actually edited it out just to save space. But now I wish I would have just left it in. But you know what? We're going to learn about that right here, right now. So without further ado, let me let myself tell you guys what I'm talking about. Check this out. All right, guys, here's our tri tips. And all that's left to do is cut into them, see how we how we done. And uh, there's something I realized and I started to notice about tri-tips. And I want to know if you guys noticed this. So obviously a tri-tip has three points. And one of those points is an elbow. So you have this curvature here and then you end up with an elbow, usually right here. Um, right now it's getting deformed because it, 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 it looks deformed because it cooked out and bloated this way. But when you first get it, there's just three points. The ends and then the third point would be the elbow. So you get the tip, this side and that side. Those are the tips, right? The points and then there's like this elbow. I'm starting to realize that the grain is, is running towards that elbow like most of the time. So next time you guys pick up any tri-tips, see if that's something you guys see as well. So here's the elbow and the grains are running to it. Here's the elbow over here, and the grains are what running to it. So uh, that could be something that is just universal across the board. You know what I mean? Any tri tip. I mean, let me know if that's something uh, you've you've seen or or what. Because I know tri tips, the grain kind of runs all different ways. But it seems to me, I've been getting tri tips that they seem to run just towards that elbow. Hmm find that a little suspicious anyways so you can see where this where the grain is running and we're gonna cut these against the grain and see how we did all right so let's take a look at this tri-tip we got a point on the top we got the curvature and we got a point on the bottom which means this is your elbow and the and the direction of the grain is running towards that elbow which means those slices are against the grain. It's running what's called perpendicular. And that's how you invite a very, very tender meat. It's not cut with the grain, but against. Look at these two images. That's cut with the grain, and this one is cut against. If you notice, the first one, the strands. Look at all those strands, and this one, you can see all the little holidays in there. Yeah. So let's take a look at my slice, all those little holidays in there. Those are, that's an indication that that was cut against the grain. And let's just take a look at the whole slice. So from the well done part, all the way down, that's cut against the grain. Now, let's take a look at the actual tri-tip itself. All right, let's take a look. As you can see, this whole tri-tip is cut against the grain because all that grain, all those fibers, run towards the elbow. Now, cut it any way you want to, guys, but this is just one way you can cut it, and this is how I cut it, or at least this time. This is how I cut it. So I hope you guys learned something. See you next time.